Jermaine Defoe is trained all week and he'll be in the squad tomorrow. It's great to have him back. You know, obviously, he's, uh, you know, the other lads have all done well in his absence, you know, with... Uh, you know, we scored four goals last week against Blackburn, and uh, you know, I thought Pav and uh, and Crouchy were outstanding. But it's great to have the little fella back. He's a fantastic goal scorer, and uh, you know, he's different to anybody else. He's he's, he's sharp, little, great movement, great finisher. Um, you know, good to have him back in the in the squad. You know, I would think he certainly would have had six or seven goals by this stage of the season. You know, his record tells you that every year at least. So, you know, that can make a difference in points. But the other lads, whoever's played has done well. So, we've, you know, we've been lucky we've got good strikers. What sort of reception should you get? You play for a club, play well for them, you should get a good reception, surely. I mean, I don't know what it's all about. People, want to, what they want to give him abuse for is he got, you know, he, he, he got freed from Arsenal and I took him to Tottenham and he wants to play football and he's, he's come here and played and done great for us without him. We'd have... You know, we've lost centra, central defenders and, and without Williams' experience, he's took us, you know, where we are in the Champions League. He's played a big part in that and in the league. So he's done great for us. I hope he gets a good reception. And um, his frame of mind, he's a strong character. Nothing phases him. He's, he'll go back there tomorrow and look forward to the game and, uh, and be ready to play. There were times when Tottenham were the stronger club, you know. When Bill Nicholson was a manager in the early 60s, Tottenham were the, the club. You know, it changes, it swings round. In the last few years, certainly uh, Arsenal have been, you know, for quite a few years in Arsenal, Arsenal have, you know, been been a, the, the top club in, in London. You know, well, behind Chelsea the last couple of years, but certainly above Tottenham. But I think the, the gap is very close now. It was close last year, there was very little between the two teams. And, uh, and I think this year is exactly the same. Arsenal play fantastic football, you know, let's be honest. And, uh, and I think we do as well. I think we play some great stuff. So... He's got the makings of a great game tomorrow. I think you saw, you know, you saw the boy Nasri the other night. He, for me, he was the best player on the pitch against England. You know, they've got Fabregas, but you know we've got real quality as well. You know, Van der Vaart, Modric. You know, it's going to be an interesting, uh, interesting game tomorrow between two teams that really want to play and pass the ball and uh, you know get great movement. So it's going to be a. a it looks, it's got the makings of a, a great match. There's no reason you can't go to places, and you know it's a London derby. It'd be a great atmosphere, great stadium, fantastic pitch. The ball is round, just the same. You know, it's uh, well. There's no reason we can't go there tomorrow and play well, um, and pick up a good result. We drew the first year I came. You know, two years ago we had that four, four, four draw, which was an amazing game. So you know, we can go there tomorrow and full of confidence and. You know, looking to really have a go at it. You've got to win these games if you're going to look to, to, to win a championship. I think the championship is wide open this year. If only it's never been so open. You know, I think anyone who can put a run together up there at the top group has got a real chance this season because, uh, you know, no one's walking away with it. You know, everybody's getting beat in games that you don't expect them to get beaten or struggling to win games. And so it's wide open. No one's on a different level this year. You know, you looked at Chelsea's result last sat sat Sunday. It was, you know, an incredible result. But it's like everything. You take two or three, four key players out of the team. And Chelsea last week, no disrespect to Sunderland, who were fantastic. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when you lose John Terry and Essie and Lampard, you know, and Alex, suddenly the spine of your team. We've had that. Everybody's had injuries. Arsenal have had it with people like Van Persie missing this season. Van Marla missing. I think anyone who can get a settled team together is capable of putting a run together and, and having a real chance this year. Nico's very much part of the plans here. You know, I'd, no, I'm, no one could be a bigger fan than Nico Cranchard than what I am. He's a, he's a great footballer, fantastic boy. You couldn't meet a better guy, a professional, than Nico. He's just unlucky. He plays the same position that Gareth plays. It's just been unlucky for him. You know, he likes to play off the left hand side. And coming on, and that's where he really plays. And and obviously Gareth Bale has just been incredible. So it's been hard to get Nico in my team. You know, I played him on the right at Blackburn. He's not as comfortable at uh, Bolton the week before last. He's not as comfortable coming off the right. He prefers that coming off the left hand side. Uh, you know, he can play behind the front. With Rafa van der Vaart's been playing as well. So he's just been unlucky. You know, he's, he's done nothing wrong at all and in, in terms of the way he's played or trained. He comes out every day, he works hard. His dad was a top player and he's, it's in his blood. That, you know, he's a professional all the way. And uh, 
I really wouldn't want to lose him, but I do understand where he's coming from as well. You know, he needs to play. He's a top-class player. He's got a one scored five goals for Croatia in the last three games. He's, a, he's, he's playing on the world stage and he's a top player, so he, he does want to play. But hopefully, you know, he'll get his chance sooner rather than later and uh, see how we go.